Crash of Cars Scatter Crasher. Crash of Cars, the Mock Crasher, came out today to win this race. But just before victory was hers at last, Crash! Crash a lost, and it's not even her fault. Those darn Scatter Rangers! Can't you do your job right? Crasher complained. Now I can't do my job and win this race! Crasher put her anger aside when she remembered something important. She dug through the wreckage. From it, she found her dear friend. It's a friend of friends. Only real friends are friends with him. As Crasher secured her toy in her pocket, she was approached by another racer. I see they ruined your run too, he said. The racer's car was crushed, just like Crash's. I don't think guys like the Scatter Rangers should be allowed to run around with their crazy weapons and machines, the racer said. They're too irresponsible, Crash added. You understand me, the racer rejoiced. You know, I heard down the grapevine that they have a new, more powerful weapon that they've been developing, the racer recalled. Oh, that's kind of scary, pal, Crash said. You think so too? Why, I'd like to take it away from them. It'd be like payment for all the trouble they are causing people with how sloppy they are. We could definitely use the parts to rebuild our cars into supercars. That's a real swell idea. That'll teach them to clean up their act, Crasha agreed. Then why don't we do it? The racer suggested. Let's confiscate that weapon of theirs and put it to better use. Crasha thought about her poor car inches away from the finish line. Let's do it, Crasha decided. That's the spirit, the invigorated racer said as he shook Crasha's hand. My leg is in bad shape because of my crash, so you'll need to do the leg work. The other racer gave Crasha clear instructions for her to follow. Enter the Scatter Rangers division in Condor HQ where all those superhero types are. My buddy can get you an ID that'll let you in. They're too dangerous to fight, so don't even make direct contact with them. While one is vulnerable, take their transformation device. Transforming will make it easier to walk around without getting noticed during your search. When you find the weapon, take it with the blueprints. Finally, get out of there before anyone catches you. Crasher followed all of these steps perfectly, except the final one. Scatterboo! Hello, I thought you were still recuperating. Oh, since you're here, would you mind holding this in place for me while I fasten it? Scatterhead had just finished painting the final touches for their weapon. The figure in the painting was familiar to Crasha. It must look a little childish to you, but it's a special thing. It's a friend of friends, Red said. Only real friends are friends with him. Crasha said, finishing the catchphrase. Exactly right, Scatterrat continued. A weapon like this needs to only be used to protect and defend. We can easily become people who just strong arm anything that gets in the way of what we want. With this much power in our hands, it can be easy to forget to be a friend of friends. Crasha thought back to her race. Crasha thought back to her car. Crasha thought back to her bitterness. Are the Scatter Rangers really friends of friends? She asked through grating teeth. Win or lose, regular citizens have to live their lives in a broken city left in the Scatter Rangers' wake. It's frustrating for regular citizens, I know. After I finish repairing the robots and weapons here, I have to leave HQ. I have to take the suit off. I have to go to the grocery store. I have to look up a recipe I'm not used to making so I can have something decent for dinner. At every step, I have to wade through everything I've failed to save in spite of my best efforts. Scatter Red looked back at the weapon. We are only human, Scatter Blue. Suddenly, an alarm sounded. A monster had been sighted causing more trouble. Scatter Blue, the weapon is currently mounted on your battle car. We need you to get it to the battlefield as soon as possible. I will rally the rest of the team while you go on ahead. And so, Crasha was left alone with a weapon, a car, and Scatter Red's trust. This is perfect. The other racers celebrated through Crash's earpiece. Everything is going according to plan. Remember to take the blueprints too. Crasha drove. She drove away from the Scatter Rangers. She drove away from Condor HQ. She drove away from the battlefield. The other racer greeted her joyously as she parked her car. 
Great job, Crasher. I can't wait to dig in. My car is about to be king of the road for sure. Crasher was not so eager to take the stolen weapon apart. She was still thinking about her conversation with Scatter Red. What is this thing? It doesn't vibe with my car's aesthetic at all. The other driver said as he started to wipe off the emblem Scatter Red painted onto the device. After witnessing this, Crasher held her friend of friends closer to her heart and knew what she had to do. Without a moment to lose, Crasher revved up the Scatter Blue battle car and drove to meet with the Scatter Rangers. Hey Red, sorry I'm late, Crasher said on the radio as she approached the battle. Better late than never, Scatter Blue. Now we can form Scatter Robo. Sorry Red, no can do. Crasher said. Why not? Red asked. I don't know how to do that. I do know how to do this. Crasher crashed. Crasher crashed. Hard. Crasher crashed so hard that the monster was no more. Blanketed by the carnage, Crasher made her escape. Crasher left Condor HQ and its heroes. She left Scatter Blue's transformation device behind so the other Scatter Rangers can find it. She went to the grocery store. She looked up a healthy recipe for dinner. All the while, she waited in the mess of the day's lessons. Finally home, Crash of Cars held her friend of friends close, thinking about how tomorrow could be better.